Elektra Short Mode Review. Elektra is now a full-fledged assassin, so we have retconned Daredevil, basically. No, it is actually taking place in that continuity. There's a scene in this which, you know, ties it together with that, so, you know. It's not only that it's the same actress, but, yeah, so they, they make the effort to tie it in with that and then make sure to cut all ties, so, yeah. She's an assassin, and she doesn't really want to be anymore, and we get to watch the film drudge through, you know, go, all, go through all the motions of the all-too-familiar assassin who no longer wants to be an assassin plot. She is sent to wait for her next assignment, and bonds with the Millers, in spite of them being bland and obnoxious, or really, to be perfectly fair, the father is bland, the daughter is obnoxious. She is every 13-year-old girl, annoying cliché thrown into, you know, one character. And the actress is not very good either. And, yeah, so she bonds with these two, and then, surprise, she finds out that they are her targets. And she doesn't want to kill them, so she spends the rest of the movie protecting them. For being about ninjas, this movie is dreadfully boring and has almost no martial arts in it. In place of martial arts, we get tenseless scenes of special effects. Basically, everyone Electra fights has magic powers, and about half of these really don't lend well to any kind of fighting. In fact, yeah, there's, there's just almost no fighting. When they actually do get down to fighting, it can be pretty decent, you know, well choreographed, but it only lasts for just a few minutes. The ninjas in this do teleport and, you know, see the future and various things, you know, in general, Elektra in this has the ability to see the future but it's not completely reliable, it only works when the plot says it should. And yeah, it's just a pretty boring movie with characters you don't care about. For a 90 minute movie, it feels a lot longer. There's almost no tension, there's just almost nothing to grab onto and you know delve into. It's just really uninspired. It's not even visually appealing. It doesn't have any, you know, images where you, you know, leave the movie and think, wow, that looked really good. Nor is it even enjoyably bad. It's just bad. I've reviewed other parts of this series. The links are in the description box. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.